So before you unhook anything or get ready to stabilize anything or slide anything out, the first thing you want to do is we want to make sure that we're level from left to right. Once you unhook, you're unable to do that. And we want to check that out before we unhook. So the first thing you want to do is if it's locked, we'll unlock this one over here on the left hand side. If it's not locked, which it's not already, come over here and we will turn this, open it up. There's also a small latch up here where you'll be able to keep it in the open position. Pretty much all of your hookup needs and all of your tools are going to be in this front compartment. Inside the front up here, I have some small magnetic levels. Now, this is the perfect thing to make sure that you're level side to side before you actually go to unhook. So up here on the front is the tongue of your trailer. This is uh, perfectly level as long as it's on level ground. So this is where we're going to check to make sure that we are level. If you come up here and look at the front where you actually hook everything up, there's a flat spot right here. This is the best spot to put the level right here where this magnet is. So we'll set this on top of the magnet. And if we look at it, we can see that right now we are not level left to right. Whatever side of the level the bubble is on, that's the side that we're going to have to uh, go away from. So right now we need to pick up looking at the trailer from the front. We're going to have to pick up the right side. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Basically, we have some leveling blocks. You're going to put those underneath the wheels and drive up onto them. And we're going to go through that process now. So because this is the low side on the right hand side, looking at it from the front, this is the side that we're going to have to raise up. So what we have is these leveling blocks. These leveling blocks are extremely sturdy and they'll be able to hold the weight of the RV. The max we would want to raise it is two blocks. So the setup for these two blocks is you'll take three of them together and you will stack them on top of each other. I know we're going to need at least two, so we went ahead and set them up. But if you just need to raise it up just a little bit, you can use just one. And the process is, is when you set them up, slide them right next to the tire on both sides. And then we're going to go up and we're going to pull forward on front of them. It's best to have someone back here watching it for you so that you can verify that you are right in the center of them whenever you get finished. So set these back up and we'll go up and pull onto them and show you how it levels. So this should be your setup. If you need one, just have one in front of each tire. If you need the height of two, set them up just like this. So for this part, it's best to have somebody there to watch this for you so we can make sure that we are in the center of these leveling blocks. That way we don't have any issues with anything moving and sliding off while you're moving around inside of the RV. So now we'll go back up here and we'll check out the level, make sure we did what we needed to try to accomplish here. So coming back and looking at the level, we can see now we are pretty much right in the center. So everything should be level. It's very important that this is level. There are things like the refrigerator and drains and all these other things inside the RV that won't work properly or as needed if it is not perfectly level. 